Good day and welcome to the 2016-2017 school year. I hope you have had a relaxing, enjoyable summer and are feeling renewed, refreshed, and excited about a new year here in Brandywine. For those who are our new hires and just starting with us, welcome and I look forward to meeting you and visiting your classrooms soon. Last year at this time, I met with all teachers on the first day and talked about the characteristics of a great teacher. I explained that a great teacher is not only liked, but respected. They are liked because they truly care about their students and want them to succeed, because they go the extra mile to ensure students are learning to the best of their abilities, and because they treat children equally and equitably. They are respected because they are always prepared and ready to go when the bell rings. They have a lesson plan, they are knowledgeable about the subject they are teaching, and they maintain the highest level of professionalism at all times. Last year at this time, we also talked a great deal about equity and how we must all work together to deliver services that meet the needs of every student so they can succeed. We must continue to ensure that students have equitable supports in place to eliminate gaps in service, support, and achievement. Equity must remain a top priority for all of us in BSD. As you know, we launched an exciting and ambitious district success plan last year. The core principle guiding the development of that plan was to ensure that each and every graduate is not only prepared for the world they will step into upon graduation, but has a distinct advantage as a Brandywine School District graduate. In just a few days, well over 10,000 students will come through our doors, all possessing varying strengths, learning styles, personalities, and life experiences. And it becomes our charge to meet the needs of each unique learner, literally molding and shaping the lives and futures of each child through our professional action. This is not only an awesome responsibility and challenge, but an immense privilege. The opportunity to make such a difference in the life of a child is not only what enticed us to become educators, but is what continues to fuel the passion and dedication that is the hallmark of the Brandywine School District. As we prepare students for the futures of tomorrow, we must be cognizant of the fact of just how different tomorrow's world will be compared to that of just five years ago. The students taking seats before us just a few days from now will face a tech-enabled, tech-dependent world, demanding a far different skill set than previous generations. It is our professional responsibility to ensure that appropriate adjustments are made in our programming to ensure that all students are prepared to meet the challenges of the world after graduation. To this end, our district has begun work on really defining what modern learning environments should look like. We have also taken major steps forward on two critical components, access to technology and tech infrastructure. It's hard to believe that four years ago, there were only 58 mobile devices deployed across the district for instructional use. By the opening of school this year, we will have deployed more than 5,000 mobile devices. During the same time period, we have installed or refreshed classroom projectors or TVs. All 16 buildings will be completely wireless by the fall of this year, and we have made major bandwidth upgrades to nearly all of our buildings. These improvements will help us ensure that we are providing access to all learners in ways they can appreciate and benefit from. Access to technology and blended learning opportunities enhance our equity initiatives by reducing the digital divide between the haves and the have-nots. When they are at school and in our care, students have the same access and opportunities regardless of what zip code they live in. Furthermore, it is incumbent upon us to not only provide that access, but also deliver instruction that combines the best teaching methods, face-to-face, -face, digital, small group and projects, self-study, and completely authentic, so that all students grow and succeed. Over the course of the summer, I had the opportunity to review hundreds of responses from staff regarding their one burning question about the district success plan. I'd like to share a few responses that I believe capture what many other staff were expressing in their responses. 
Pat Sutton's math teacher at Mount Pleasant High drove home a critical point. How do we make sure that we are not just using technology for technology's sake, but using it to truly enhance and improve what we do? Pat, great question. It's not about having the access to the technology and it's not about simply infusing technology here or there or using the technology just to say we're using it. It is about the strategic and intentional use of technology, not merely digitalizing curriculum, but a true pedagogical shift in how we design and deliver teaching and learning experiences for all students. This pedagogical shift is what blended learning is all about. Many staff submitted questions like Bertie Hunt's ELA teacher at P.S. DuPont. With all this emphasis on technology, what will you do to ensure that teachers are truly comfortable and knowledgeable? I feel like it's forgotten that we too learn at different rates. We are absolutely aware that staff members across the board have varying degrees of comfort and proficiency with the technology itself. All of us will have different starting points, and that's okay. We are focusing on growth. The district will be offering professional development sessions throughout the year in various formats that focus not only on the functionality of the devices, but also in the pedagogical shifts required for blended learning. Do we expect staff to be proficient in all aspects of instructional technology or blended learning by the end of the school year? No, that's not realistic. Should all staff be more proficient and demonstrating increased use of instructional technology? Absolutely. We also know that there will be bumps and hurdles as you try things in your classroom for the first time. It is a natural progression of the learning curve. Like playing the piano, the only way to get better is by practicing. Thanks, Bertie, for your desire to grow in your understanding and use of instructional technology. And while Bertie's question didn't address this point, it needs to be stated. In the past, the use of instructional technology by educators has been a personal decision. In our mission to prepare all students for success in an increasingly technological world, every staff member will be challenged to embrace the technological resources at our disposal and learn and demonstrate certain proficiencies to improve educational programming, services, and ultimately outcomes for students. Rob Limina, social studies teacher at Mount Pleasant, who grew up on the same street I did in Afton, asked what many others wanted to know. Is it possible to implement the number of changes we are looking at within a four-year period? Are we completely committed to the success plan beyond the four-year period that has been set? It is an aggressive plan, and in writing it, we are also cognizant that there are outside factors that may impact our timelines one way or another. As with any long-term plan, it is important that it remains fluid. There are several initiatives that have components that national experts estimate will take up to seven years to fully implement and ensure institutional change. These components will need to extend into the next iteration of the district success plan. To this end, our district has begun work on really defining what modern learning environments should look like. And this is where I need your help. The outcomes we desire for students will require each of us to accept the professional challenge of making pedagogical changes to better meet the needs of today's 21st century learner, primarily through the use of blended learning. In our journey together, I will need your constructive guidance and professional insight. I've asked our principals to help me lead this conversation. I want to hear from you about what the modern learning environment should look like here in the Brandywine School District so that I can immediately begin to align the necessary resources to meet the critical and fundamental need. Over the next few months, you will begin these conversations in your schools, and you will be hearing from me with periodic updates along the way. I look forward to this important conversation and hearing your contribution to a vision for the future in BSD. Thank you, and welcome back to an exciting new year.